Collins, top of the key, gets a screen from Rudd. Dribble penetration, throws a lob to Igbunu, and he flushed it in. Coming up on the Stan Heath Show, we'll talk to Coach Heath about this young 2013-2014 Bulls basketball season. It's a four-on-one. Victor Rudd, deep under dunk. Oh, he threw it down hard. Plus, we'll take a look at the returning Bulls stars and some freshman additions to the USF roster. We'll take an inside look at the Bulls strength and conditioning program all ahead on the Stan Heath Show. The Stan Heath Show, presented by Kane's Furniture. Quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. The Stan Heath Show is also brought to you by Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Delivered by UPS. Let UPS put the power of logistics to work for you. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in six specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, ear, nose and throat, nephrology, orthopedics, pulmonology and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Whatever the call, whatever the play, when the Bulls score 60 points, we'll give you a free movie call movie ticket at Kames. Save your ticket stubs, Bulls fans. If the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, take it to Kames Furniture and get a free movie call movie pass. That's right, 60 points of Bulls basketball means you score a movie call movie ticket from Kames. Whatever the call, whatever the play, if the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, we'll pay for your movie at Kames. The University of South Florida is a regional powerhouse with global significance, leading advances that are changing the world. Now a leader among the nation's universities in research, healthcare, and just being cool. The place where young men and women train to become the best. This is where the bulls run. Customer Aaron Swenson ordered shoes from us online, but they didn't fit. Customer's not happy, I'm not happy. Sales go down, I'm not happy. Merch comes back, I'm not happy. Use UPS, they make returns easy. Unhappy customer becomes happy customer. Then, repeat customer. Easy returns, I'm happy. Repeat customers, I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. I ordered another pair. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. To the short corner, touch pass to Lede to Perry, who laid it in. Rundage to the basket, rejected by Chris Perry. He came flying in off of his man and sent it into the front row of the Sun Dome crowd. And welcome into another USF basketball season. I'm Jim Lighthall, the voice of the men's basketball team, and we're starting off on another 2013-2014 season. Joined now by the head coach, Stan Heath. And coach, boy, you guys are off to a good start. I know it's nice to have a nice winning record here yeah. in November and December. Yeah, we're in a good place right now, Jim. And, uh, you know, we had a couple bumps early in the season. Uh, I thought we worked through that process. And in the last couple of weeks, we're playing a lot better basketball. Still got a lot of work to do. But I like the direction we're going, really coming together as a team. I love the way this roster looks. You've got the upperclassmen. You've got the great recruiting class coming yeah. in. Obviously, the expectations are very high. Well, you know, we felt the need to really address some of the areas we weren't as strong in last year. We weren't very good inside, rebounding, scoring in the paint. Uh, so the addition of some of those new big guys has really helped our basketball team. Johnny Bugnu, Chris Perry, two highly regarded guys. But I also felt like we need to play more up-tempo. It really fits this team. We can rebound better. We've got speed guys. Corey Allen, the addition of him with Anthony Collins, Victor Rudd, Martino Brock has created a faster pace for our basketball team where we're able to score the ball easier and play more in transition, which is more fun. Yeah, tempo is a big word this season. You guys are really playing above the rim. A lot of dunks, a lot of fast break offense. And there's also some changes off of the floor. We've got some new members on the staff. Yeah, uh, man, I, I really love my staff. Uh, you know, Steve Rockefeller returns for his third year, uh, but we've added uh, three new coaches. Uh, we've got Donnie Marsh, who was an assistant coach uh, at UAB for a long time, as well as Indiana. Uh, Mike Wells, who came from George Mason in the NBA, and Chris Howard, one of my former players. So, and they're fitting in very well together. 
and both all add different things to our program that help us. Yeah, Chris Howard, a familiar name, as you mentioned, a point guard, played a lot of basketball inside the Sundome building, and we're looking forward to all this staff molding the young guys as well as the returning players. The returning players are always the key to a basketball team, so let's take a look at some of the older guys. One of the great veterans on the Bulls staff is point guard Anthony Collins out of Houston, Texas, averaging a little over seven points and nearly six assists per game. Collins missed the first two games this year due to injury, and the Bulls missed him, but he's been able to get healthy and come back and lead the Bulls to their 6-2 and two start. Collins' three-point shooting continues to improve. He's hit five already this year, but his trademark is the penetration, the drive to the basket, and the lob pass for the easy dunk. He's done a great job this year matching up with the freshman center, John Egbunu. Collins has almost 400 assists in his USF career, and late in the game with the game on the line, he's the guy you want on the free throw line, hitting almost 86% of his free throws. The lob here to Corey Allen for the easy two. Anthony Collins, a big reason the Bulls have gotten off to their outstanding start this year. Victor Rudd comes to USF from Arizona State. The Los Angeles native is six foot nine. He's a versatile athlete, can block a shot for you, but he's also an outstanding outside shooter. In fact, he leads the Bulls with eight made threes so far this season. Rudd now has more than 800 points in his USF career, and he's also working hard on the boards, trying to become a more complete player. He's now averaging 5.4 rebounds per game. But any Bulls fan will tell you what makes Victor Rudd Jr. special is the highlight reel dunks he's had throughout his USF career. A great athlete, Rudd has tremendous explosiveness to the basket. And plays like that have made him a fan favorite throughout his time with the USF Bulls. Now time for the surprise among the Bulls veterans. Corey Allen Jr. is a junior, but he's a first-year Bull. He's a junior college transfer. USF found him at Mount San Antonio College. He's a native of St. Louis. He's played both the one and two guard position for the Bulls, and he's been terrific. He's number two on the team in scoring. He's also number two on the team in assists. And for a guard, he's just an outstanding rebounder, getting more than five boards per game. Maybe most importantly, though, Allen just has a knack of making the big play, whether it's a steal, whether it's a defensive stop, or a basket at a key time. He's been the guy when the game is on the line that the Bulls have gotten the big play from so far this year. He's matched up with Anthony Collins to create an explosive backcourt for the Bulls this season. Coach, when you look at some of those guys, they've been battle-tested, and you're expecting big things from that group. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I really feel like we have the pieces in place. We have talent. Uh, we have some good point guard and some leadership, some older guys, and we really feel like we can do some things this year. Yeah, the preseason all-conference team's got some of those names on it as well. When we come back, we'll take a quick look at the strength and conditioning coach, Graham Anderson, as the Stan Heath Show continues. Graham's responsible for making them bigger, stronger, and faster, and we'll also take a look at some of the new guys on the roster for USF, two fresh faces that will make an impact this season. Stick around. This is the Stan Heath Show. Customer Aaron Swenson ordered shoes from us online, but they didn't fit. Customer's not happy, I'm not happy. Sales go down, I'm not happy. Merch comes back, I'm not happy. Use UPS, they make returns easy. Unhappy customer becomes happy customer. Then, repeat customer. Easy returns, I'm happy. Repeat customers, I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. I ordered another pair. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in six specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, ear, nose and throat, nephrology, orthopedics, pulmonology and neurology. Number one in Tampa Bay and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. 
trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Whatever the call, whatever the play, when the Bulls score 60 points, we'll give you a free movie call movie ticket at Kings. Save your ticket stubs, Bulls fans. If the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, take it to Kane's Furniture and get a free movie call movie pass. That's right, 60 points of Bulls basketball means you score a movie call movie ticket from Kane's. Whatever the call, whatever the play, if the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, we'll pay for your movie at Kane's. The University of South Florida is a regional powerhouse with global significance, leading advances that are changing the world. Now a leader among the nation's universities in research, healthcare, and just being cool. The place where young men and women train to become the best. This is where the bulls run. He's going to go in and he's going to dunk on the play. Oh, yeah. Corey Allen from the Bulls. Victor Rudd! Oh my! Cross court pass. Rudd is open. Goes baseline. Around two men. Now a left handed layup is in. Boy, did he snake his way through the defense there. And welcome back to this edition of the Stan He Show. Jim Lighthall and the head coach joining you this morning. We appreciate you stopping by and talking Bulls basketball. Coach, we've talked about your team so far a little bit, a little general consensus, but you got off to a tremendous start this year, 4-0 for the first time in a while, and also a couple of road wins in this non-conference schedule. Well, it's so hard to win on the road, and, and to go to Bowling Green, to go, go to George Mason and pull off a couple wins like that, that's huge, and I think it builds a little toughness in your team as well as some camaraderie, because you win on the road, it's us against the world mentality. You know, you're making the shift from the Big East to the American Conference, but the non-conference is very important. You know this. Once, yeah. mar once March rolls around, that can committee's looking at your RPI and sometimes your non-conference RPI. Well, I mean, let's be honest, this league is a brand new league and, uh, uh, you know, we're going to get measured by how we play out of conference in terms of the strength of our, our RPIs as we head into conference play and that's going to determine how many teams we get into the NCAA tournament. Yeah, scheduling is tough in the non-conference because you want to have teams that are good enough but not good enough to take you down in the non-conference. You want to you want to build some wins up at this time of year. Well, we 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 purposely uh, we put together a pretty challenging schedule. You look at Oklahoma State, their top seven or eight program in the country right now. Alabama's on our schedule as well too. We're going to go out to Vegas later on. We played a couple of road games where we had to go to George Mason, uh, as 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 well as uh, uh, we're going to go to Bradley later on in the year too. Uh, and a couple of road wins. So uh, we had to put together a pretty challenging schedule, and I think it's going to help us in the long run. Oh, absolutely. When the Horizon League is in there, as you mentioned, the Big 12, uh, the Atlantic 10 that uh, George Mason is now in. Coach, you need wins this time of year because once the calendar rolls over, it becomes conference play, and then, uh, and then the real bullets start flying, as they like to say. Yeah, I mean, it's two things you want to look at. You want to prepare your team for some really stiff, tough competition. You want to take them on the road. You want to take them into some neutral sites. And you want to play against some teams that are going to have quality, uh, quality teams that if you win, obviously it's going to help you in the long run. Got to be tough and you got to be strong if you're going to do that. Strength and conditioning coach Graham Anderson is a key part of this team. The Bulls are off and running with a 6-2 record through the first eight games of the season. Here come the Bulls. Victor Rudd! Oh my! Here comes a double high screen. Collins will take the three from straight on and hits it. Juan Howard Jr. had his pass taken away by Martino Brock. It's a race to the basket. A oh, one-handed. But much of that success can be attributed to a person who won't log a minute in a game. Strength coach Graham Anderson. Dealing with basketball is a, is a, is a, is a beast upon itself. Um, the different sizes of the athletes, the, the ranges in heights, the ranges in weights um, is different than any other sport. Uh, we range right now anywhere from six foot one up to seven foot three. So when we're developing training programs, we have to look at uh, the lever links of our athletes. Over the summer, you have to get better as an individual and as a team. And he has us in the weight room and running all summer. You know, we don't see him as much when the season starts. Um, people come in here every now and then, or some people come in here more often than others. But He's the most important person because that's the person we see after the season. When it's time to get ready for another season, that's the person we see all the way up to August, September when we can be with the coaches. We want to provide that athlete so that no matter what position that they put themselves in on the court, 
they have the strength to be able to get out of that position and be more explosive uh, than anybody else on the court. Before I got here, I was I would say I ate bad like all the time. Then I got here, you know, he helped me out with my nutrition and I'm doing better with that and I feel much better, you know, all thanks to him and I'm just trying to get, you know, when you eat good, you know, you just feel better and that's what he's helped me with. Oh, uh, Graham, <laughs> his personality is crazy, he's like the coolest person here. Like, like you can talk to Graham about anything, like he laugh and joke with us, but when it's time to work, it's time to work. He like, he very, very down to earth, he like, yeah, people's got like, be cool all around. I don't want them to leave with any regrets. I want them to uh, have a relentless mentality in, in the fact of how they're attacking each day and, and knowing how fleeting it is uh, going from your freshman year into your senior year. Coach Graham Anderson is one of the best in the business, no doubt, but when he's in the weight room with those guys, they don't like him very much because he makes them work. Graham is a great addition, and he's been here now, I think, since fourth season. And uh, Graham, Graham really specifically tailor makes basketball workouts for our players. And they love that. And it's, it's all business, it's all work. Uh, but the kids are really buying into what he does. Well, it pays off, obviously. They start to see the results. Guys like Zach Lede putting on some major weight yeah. as they get ready for conference play. Speaking of conference play, we'll take a look at the American Conference coming up in just a few moments. But also, we got to talk about those freshmen. We talked about the recruiting class, how great it is. It's a good one. John Igbunu and Chris Perry are the stars of that class. We'll look at them next. Whatever the call, whatever the play, when the Bulls score 60 points, we'll give you a free movie call movie ticket at Kings. Save your ticket stubs, Bulls fans. If the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, take it to Kane's Furniture and get a free movie call movie pass. That's right, 60 points of Bulls basketball means you score a movie call movie ticket from Kane's. Whatever the call, whatever the play, if the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, we'll pay for your movie at Kane's. The University of South Florida is a regional powerhouse with global significance, leading advances that are changing the world. Now a leader among the nation's universities in research, healthcare, and just being cool. The place where young men and women train to become the best. This is where the bulls run. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in six specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, ear, nose and throat, nephrology, orthopedics, pulmonology and urology. Number one in Tampa Bay and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Customer Aaron Swenson ordered shoes from us online, but they didn't fit. Customer's not happy, I'm not happy. Sales go down, I'm not happy. Merch comes back, I'm not happy. Use UPS, they make returns easy. Unhappy customer becomes happy customer. Then, repeat customer. Easy returns, I'm happy. Repeat customers, I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. I ordered another pair. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. Offense starts to move. Here's a lob, and Igbunu's wide open and catches it for the dunk. Blocked by Chris Perry. Might have been a goal 10, but it's the Bulls coming the other way. Corey Allen all the way to the basket in the layup. To the top to Victor Rudd. Wide open for three. Didn't take it. Goes to the basket. Big one-handed dunk. They didn't come out and guard him, and he took it all the way to the rack. And welcome back to this first Stan Heath Coaches TV show of the year. Coach, you start to look at the American Conference down the road. It's right around the corner here. You know, you make the jump from the Big East to the American, yeah. and wow, people thought, oh, it's going to be an easier conference schedule. Uh, that's not the case. Not the case at all. That's been totally proven wrong. This is an extremely strong conference. You've got five holdovers from the, the former Big East, and uh, when you look at UConn, they're off to a great start. Memphis is playing exceptionally well. Uh, Louisville, the defending <laughs> national champions, as well as ourselves in Rutgers. Uh, and then you've got some newcomers uh, that, that come back into this league. You've got SMU's off to a good start. You've got Houston, UCF now. We've created a little bit of a rivalry. Uh, so there's some really good basketball teams. Temple, I didn't even mention, 
very good basketball teams in this conference. Yeah, you've got a little history with Temple, having beaten them in the NCAA tournament a couple of years ago. Some of the new teams, SMU, Larry Brown, the head coach there, he got a McDonald's All-American. Uh, you talk about Houston, which has great tradition. They won a bunch of games last year. And UCF, I think this rivalry is way undervalued. Oh, that's going to be a heat. I mean, last year we played twice and we split. And I mean, I think every game is going to be a, uh, you know, just a just a, a fight. I mean, it's just going to be a fight back and forth between two good programs. Uh, but you're right. I mean, it, there's so many talented players, but there's awfully, awfully good coaching in this league too. Uh, when you look at guys like Larry Brown, Hall of Famer, Rick Pitino is going to be a Hall of Famer if he, oh, he already is a Hall of Famer. Uh, so there's some really good coaching in this league. Some very talented players. I think the basketball is off the charts. Uh, you know, so many of our teams already have pulled out some huge upsets in non-conference play. Uh, and this is going to be, we open up with Memphis, New Year's Eve. I mean, how about that? Uh, you know, first game out. So we're going to have some great games, some great battles. And I love the fact that it's an 18-game schedule and we play everybody twice. Uh, so that's going to get a true champion when it's all said and done. It's going to be a ton of fun in the American this year. The Sun Dome is going to be rocking throughout the month of January, February, and hopefully into March as well. We're going to take a quick look at some of these freshmen that we've been talking about the whole show, Chris Perry and John Igbunu. Those guys are going to be stars. Not very often at this level do you have two big men come in and get significant minutes as a freshman, but the Bulls have had that happen. First of all, Chris Perry. He was a highly sought-after recruit from Bartow High School, 6'8", 266 pounds. In his senior year, he led his team to the Class 7A state semifinals. Perry is a very refined offensive player, averaging more than nine points per game, and he's hitting 62% of his shots so far this year for USF. He's also a solid rebounder, getting six per game, and he's a strong presence inside the paint. He's already blocked 11 shots on the season. Perry, along with John Igbunu, has really changed things in the paint for USF. Averaging about 20 minutes per game so far, Perry's starting to get more and more time as the season goes on, and he's responded with outstanding play for the Bulls. John Egbunu is a native of Nigeria, went to Fort Walton Beach High School, first year Bull, a freshman, and he's made an immediate impact helping the Bulls to be tougher in the paint. The size is a given, 6'10", 245. One of the things though that makes Egbunu special is his ability to run the floor. He's very athletic and he's also becoming an intimidating shot blocker. He's already rejected 18 shots so far this year. Egbunu is averaging a little over seven points per game, nearly six boards per game as well, as he's been able to split time with Chris Perry. Sometimes they're on the floor together, but either way, Agbunu has been off to a great start in his USF career. Should be a force in the paint for the Bulls for years to come. Coach, those guys look awfully good. I know you can't wait to coach them for the next two, three, four years. Well, both those guys uh, have really helped us in big ways. They're so different. John runs the floor, shot, blocks shots, uh, can just play above the rim. And Chris is such a low post uh, scorer and rebounder. They're, they're forces, and, and uh, they're, they're just going to get better and better. Yeah, they're going to be a force at the offensive and the defensive end. A ton of fun to watch here at the Sun Dome throughout the rest of the non-conference schedule. We'll wrap up the non-conference schedule after a quick timeout. We'll also get you ready for the Las Vegas Classic. That's next on the Stan Heath Show. Once again, Tampa General Hospital is proud to be named the number one hospital in Tampa Bay by U.S. News & World Report and recognized as one of America's best hospitals in six specialties, cardiology and heart surgery, ear, nose and throat, nephrology, orthopedics, pulmonology and urology. Number one in Tampa Bay and one of America's best, Tampa General Hospital, trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Whatever the call, whatever the play, when the Bulls score 60 points, we'll give you a free movie call movie ticket at Kings. Save your ticket stubs, Bulls fans. If the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, take it to Kane's Furniture and get a free movie call movie pass. That's right, 60 points of Bulls basketball means you score a movie call movie ticket from Kane's. Whatever the call, whatever the play, if the Bulls score 60 points in today's game, we'll pay for your movie at Kane's. 
University of South Florida is a regional powerhouse with global significance, leading advances that are changing the world. Now a leader among the nation's universities in research, healthcare, and just being cool. The place where young men and women train to become the best. This is where the bulls run. Customer Aaron Swenson ordered shoes from us online, but they didn't fit. Customer's not happy, I'm not happy. Sales go down, I'm not happy. Merch comes back, I'm not happy. Use UPS, they make returns easy. Unhappy customer becomes happy customer. Then, repeat customer. Easy returns, I'm happy. Repeat customers, I'm happy. Sales go up, I'm happy. I ordered another pair. I'm happy. I'm, I'm happy. happy. I'm happy. 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 I love logistics. He's been hounding the point guard, took it away from him right there, on a breakaway. Allen to the basket, with a two-handed dunk at the Bulls, lead by five. Now to Collins at the top of the wheel, he's going to take the three from straight on and hit the three. Here's a steal by the Bulls, Victor Rudd picks up the loose ball and lays it in. Wow, time flies on your first show, Coach, knocking this first one out as the Bulls finish up the non-conference schedule. We talked about uh, the trip to Bradley and Peoria in just a little while. That'll be your final non-conference game. But this Las Vegas Classic is interesting because not only is the team going to Vegas, you got a couple of home games before yeah. that. Yeah, we kick it off with Florida Gulf Coast on Tuesday, and then we have Florida A&M, and then we head out to Vegas, and we have Mississippi State, and then we'll have hopefully the winner of Santa Clara, UNLV. We'll play one of those two teams. Uh, you know, it's a really good tournament, and as you mentioned, the last game will be Bradley. Uh, we need to protect our home, and we need to go on a neutral site, and uh, we need to steal some games as well, too. These games are unique because it gives you a couple of home games, yet it's considered part of the, of the Classic. Yeah, you know, I love those four-for-one tournaments, especially when you get the two home games at home that you don't have to return. Uh, and then you get a quality opponent like Florida Gulf Coast coming off a Sweet 16 uh, uh, appearance, as well as several returning guys from that basketball team. So that's going to be a very difficult game, a game that we need to win. A trip to Vegas is always fun around Christmas time. <laughs> yeah, I think our guys are looking forward to it, but we got to stay focused on the, the game right in front of us right now. you got to remember it's a business trip, don't you? Absolutely. It will be a business trip. We need to win some games there. All right, well, the Bulls will take on, uh, as mentioned, Mississippi State, Santa Clara, UNLV. They're all in that group. And don't forget Florida Gulf Coast and also Florida A&M here at the Dome before they take off from there. That'll do it for the Stan Heath Show for this first one. We'll be back again on January the 4th. Don't leave us. Happy holidays, everyone. Coach, thank you. All right, thank you. That's Stan Heath. I'm Jim Lighthall. Have a great holiday season. The Stan Heath Show has been presented by Kane's Furniture. Quality so good, it's guaranteed for life. The Stan Heath Show is also brought to you by Tampa General Hospital. Trusted for our expertise, chosen for our care. Delivered by UPS. Let UPS put the power of logistics to work for you.